morning, my name is James Hughes, Chief Market Analyst here at Scope Markets and this is your daily briefing on Tuesday the 16th of June. European markets are set to jump higher on the open this morning after the Fed announced that it would be broadening out its bond buying program and buying more corporate bonds. However, the good news for stock markets is also fighting against some negative news stories out of China after a cluster of new coronavirus cases in the country was linked to a food market. U.S. stock futures also saw some aggressive upside after it was reported that the Trump administration was readying a new $1 trillion infrastructure plan. The plan seems to be being set aside to continue public spending on things like roads and bridges, with funds also being set aside for 5G infrastructure. This comes after the Fed announced on Monday that it would be buying individual corporate bonds. There have been rumours that the Fed were going to venture into the corporate money market, Now, yesterday's announcement shows that the Fed are yet again acting to shore up financial markets during the coronavirus pandemic. Monday's announcement comes before today sees Fed Chairman Jerome Powell set to appear in front of Congress in his semi-annual economic testimony. Last week saw Powell give a gloomy assessment of the economic picture post-coronavirus, and over the next two days he will be grilled by politicians on just how deep and painful the economic slump may be for the US. This morning has seen the release of the UK unemployment data, where despite a surge in those claiming unemployment benefit, the unemployment rate dropped to 3.9% from 4.5%. The number of those claiming job seekers benefit, however, jumped by almost 600,000 in May, and that's for the last three months. The market reaction was muted as despite the weaker data, markets are becoming numb to data that does not sensationally highlight the picture and miss targets. Traders will also focus on the retail sales data out of the US due this afternoon. Expectations are for a jump of 3.8% as states eased out of lockdown earlier in the US. However, fears of a second spike in many US states will have traders worried that lockdown could be reintroduced and extended in some areas.